Hello. Um, thought I'll make a little video today. Um, came back from my dad's this weekend, and he handed down to me my grandma's old trunk. His mother. And this trunk I remember seeing as a little kid. I thought it was really cool. My grandma actually restored a couple of them. She has this one and a, a much bigger one about yay high. And she remodeled the other one. The other one she actually, what can I say, um, she just fixed up really, really nice. She did it like a really antique kind of dark green. And um, yeah, anyways, my dad's holding that one right now. He's thinking about giving it to me, which I really, really want. You know, when my grandma passed away, I was really, really close to my grandma. She was a devoted Catholic, but she was, you know, she was a Catholic witch, <laughs> my grandma. She, you know, had her own spell book, and she didn't do any kind of black magic, or she did, like, you know, kind of like love spells, um, some money spells, and you know, kind of stuff like that anyways. But anyways, um, yeah, I just want to make a little video, show you guys my next project that I'm going to be working on. You know, I'm not going to be doing anything in this video. I just want to show you guys this trunk I got this weekend. You know, I picked it up in San Pedro. It's where my dad lives. My family lives out there. They're from San Pedro. But yeah, this is my mom's garage where I don't live, but... Um, I do all my crafts over here because she has the room. I don't have the room, but I picked up these metallic spray paints. These are pretty good. The gold is really good. These two, um, they're kind of translucent when I did it. I didn't really care for them too much. I might have to get like a mat or something, but yeah, anyways, let's see. Sorry about the lighting. Um, here we go. I want to show you this trunk. Now, I was looking for a trunk on Etsy, man. Um, most of them were pickups only, and there were people of, like, out of state, and they were expensive to have shipped. So I was, like, praying that I can find a trunk, and I remember, like I said, I'm so happy my dad took both of my grandma's trunks, and she actually wanted me to have this one. I, I asked her, like, years ago when she was alive. I said, Grandma, can you leave me this trunk? She said, Mijo. You know, I'll put down, tell your dad to give it to you. Something happens to me. So, you know, sadly, my grandma's not with me anymore. Like I said, I was really close to her, so I'm really happy to have this trunk handed down to me. When my dad gave it to me um, this weekend, it was had a bunch of fabric in it. I didn't really want it. It was a lot of, like, end table fabric, you know, that kind of stuff, just really old outdated prints and everything but yeah so far you know you've seen this before i've been working on this little box this was a box that my uncle gave me from new orleans when my uncle was in new orleans he met um, a sorceress out there her name was ophelia and ophelia gave this box to my uncle my uncle gave to me but anyways yeah i'm gonna fix this box up. I have my herbs in there right now, my travel. It's my little travel herb box, but this is the inside of the trunk. It has this um, pattern in here. Let me see, I got this light. Uh, you guys can see, all right. Anyways, I'll do a better video when I, just wanna show you the progress I'm doing, you know, a before and after how it looks right now. You can see. Um, I, some of the trunks, you know, like when I was looking on Etsy, shit, they're like $300. And a lot of them didn't even have this piece right here. You know, this upper shelf, it was missing. And a lot of them, the ones that had it, like I said, were like three, dollars $400. But like I said, I'm so blessed to have this chest handed trunk, excuse me, trunk handed down to me. Um, uh, my dad also gave me this wooden box. You know, forgive me, I'm going to use two hands here real quick. <laughs> okay. Here's the inside of the trunk. See, like I said, I guess this really cool design. But my mom gave me shelf paper 
which I didn't know about really, but shelf paper is what you use in your cabinets and it has a sticky side on it. You peel it off like a large sticker. You know, my mom said it wipes down. It's waterproof too. It wipes down. So, you know, when I'll be doing my work and stuff, my crafting, um, I can get it wet and not feel bad about it bubbling up or warping. So, yeah, I'm going to use the shelf paper. It's black and white. It's not really the colors I wanted, but I'll probably use it for the bottom and maybe pick up some more colors, see what they have at Walmart or Michael's. Joanne's might carry it, but... Yeah, here's the inside. It's pretty roomy. I'm going to put my books and my some of my decks in here, you know. Like I said, I don't know. I'm going to use it for sure. But, yeah, that's a project for me to work on. Keep busy on that one. And this box is really cool right here. This was how it does. I don't know, my dad has some junk in here, some knives. <laughs> yeah, switchblade, cool. Um, yeah, he actually, this whole box right here was filled to the top of knives. He's like, you can throw them away, keep them. So, you know, I don't believe in throwing in knives. So if you're on, follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna be doing some giveaways on knives. If you're interested in some knife giveaways, this comment, um for my instagram it's saint babylon as saint babylon babylon saint babylon but i can comment i'll leave it in the comments my instagram because i'll be doing some knife giveaways for bowlings or athames not these pocket knives and stuff like i said these aren't the knives i'm going to be giving away the ones i'm going to be giving away are really they're pretty nice they have leather cases and they're all handmade too my dad works at aerospace and he hand makes a lot of his own knives but yeah thought you guys might enjoy this little video this is i'm going to be um coloring this box be doing like a stain a wood stain on this box make it more darker because it has some goofy duck dynasty ducks or whatever i don't know but i thought this box was really cool i like the the handles on here the rope handles so I'm going to be using that, and yeah, I'm going to be doing a couple videos, or more videos on here, the progress, how this box, this trunk is going to be coming out. And I might be doing, coloring this whole trunk, actually. I want to do another finish on here, sand this down a little bit, and maybe do like a dark green, or a, I don't know, maybe like a rustic kind of black, antique black or something. But... Anyways, this came with the key. It still works. Well, you know what? My dad misplaced a key. <laughs> so I don't know if anyone knows that if I can like um, replace this or find a way to add another lock on here. I kind of want it locked, you know, just to have privacy on it. I have my nieces and nephews come here and they're nosy, like looking at my stuff. But right now I'm just going to have to deal with it, you know. Hopefully I don't accidentally lock it and then I'm going to have to drill it, you know. But, yeah, here's my trunk handed down to me from my grandmother. Hope you guys enjoy this little video and if you got any trunks or... Oh, one more thing too. I was planning on making a table out of this. But what I did do, instead of making a table out of this, I saw on Etsy they had they made tables out of... Um, Suitcases, old vintage suitcases. You can add legs on them and see there's a suitcase in the back right here. Before I let you guys go, I'm going to show you this suitcase. Please not too dark in here. Yeah, here we go. This one. My stepmother gave me this suitcase right here. I'm thinking about um, adding legs to this. The inside's really good condition, really clean inside. It's neat. I'll do another video on this. It's kind of dark in here. But yeah, I'm going to make a table out of that craft table. Was going to do it with this, but this is a little too big and bulky to make a table out of. Anyways, all right. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.